on the program there are 15 heats in this decider of the Diamond Jubilee Series Speedway celebrating 60 years and England having clawed back their deficit now to 8 points, 16-8 they trail now we have the daunting prospect of this double world champion pairing Gunderson there in yellow and black helmet and Hans Nielsen in white coming into race number five that really does look like quite a stumbling block Nielsen's on the outside here we've just seen Kelvin Tatum make uh, good use of the outside grip have a look across the lineup for heat five it's on the inside Jeremy Doncaster in blue next to him in yellow and black Eric Gunderson with three we'll have Chris Morton and on the outside Hans Nielsen in white the Danes won heat one in a canter England have fought back now just eight points down. It's an important heat, heat five, psychologically as well as on track. Under orders now. Keeping a long time. And up to the first corner. It looks so England's got away. It's a terrific start from England Perry. Goodison makes his run down the inside. It's Morton in front. Second place is Doncaster. Third place is Goodison and Nielsen busting a gun around the outside now. And we have a fair speedway race on now. Nielsen showing all his world class, really roaring around the outside, taking Doncaster as though he dropped a chain and setting sail now after Chris Morton, and Gunderson hasn't finished either, and the Denzer stung into action here, and Nielsen has moved inside Morton and swept him aside, and Gunderson's gone past Doncaster, and really this is Denmark, and you have to doff your cap to them because England were away there, but this dynamic pairing have moved in to take an advantage here and Gunderson hasn't finished chasing Chris Morton. Disappointing for England, Morton looks down at his motor. Nielsen has shown us just why. He is the champion of the Speedway world, a fantastic piece of Speedway. He takes heat five, Morton holds on for second. Third is Gunderson. We said before, if England are really going to make a show here, they've got to hold on to this pairing and we've just seen the Danes truly mean business. Well, let's look at it again from the beginning of lap two. I never thought we'd see the day when Chris Morton would outgate Nielsen and Gunderson. Nielsen's come from the back. He was right at the back at the start of the race. He's fought his way into second place. He now has Morton in his sights. Doncaster is third. Gunderson, you'll note, a long way at the back here. But just look at the style and application and determination of Hans Nielsen. He comes inside Morton here from what, oh, 10 yards back and just simply sweeps him aside. And Gunderson's almost about to repeat the move around the outside of Doncaster. Eric, you and your team seem very fired up from the world go, is that right? We're very determined today. We would love to beat England here. They beat it at Ipswich about a month and a half ago and uh, we're working very hard on this particular meeting and uh, I think we're going to see a very close score. I hope so anyway for the series. But you are, you are really giving it we a are We're so revved up, you know, it's uh, it's unbelievable. It's like a world, world Team Cup final, this, really. You were upset by that defeat at Ipswich, were you not? We were and uh, that's why we want to put the record straight today and I uh, hope we'll be able to do it. But England will pull some points back, I'm sure, towards the end. So I just hope we come out on top.